Hi Upstreet, my name is David and I'm so happy to be with you today. No matter what we might have to face in this life, we can put our trust in God. And with God's help, we can keep choosing patience. He will be with us every step of the way. So let's sing together. Sometimes it's hard to wait for Perfect love. Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your
Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and I'm so glad you made it today for our final Bake Off Challenge. We've had lots of fun learning to be patient whenever we have to wait. You see, patience is something you need when you're baking and in the rest of your life too. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Today is actually a very special day that we celebrate every year. It happens on the Sunday before Easter and it's called Palm Sunday. It's a chance for us to celebrate how Jesus came to the city of Jerusalem before Easter. We'll hear more about that in a few minutes. But first, it's time for our super fun game called What's the Celebration? We have a bunch of fun different cakes that we're gonna show you in just a minute. And I want you to turn and talk to those around you about why someone would use that cake to celebrate. Let's take a look at this cake right here. That's different, right? Like why would someone order a cake or, or make a cake like this? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Maybe someone is celebrating because they just got their braces off. Or maybe someone had a really good orthodontist appointment because they brushed their teeth really well. Let's take a look at some more fun cakes and I wanna see what you think. Talk to those around you. Well, those were some fun cakes, huh? Yep. Makes me want to start baking. But before I do that, I want to tell you why we celebrate this very special day. Now, let me back up and explain what led up to Palm Sunday. For hundreds of years, God's people had been waiting for a savior. They knew from the Bible and from the prophets that God would send someone to rescue them. You see, they waited and they trusted that God would do what he said he would do. You see, every year at Passover, God's people celebrated how long before God had rescued them from slavery in Egypt. And they looked forward to the time when God would one day send a savior, just like he promised. The city of Jerusalem was full of people who were celebrating the Passover. They had also heard that a very special visitor was about to arrive. And can you guess who it was? You're right, it was Jesus. People had heard Jesus' words, and they had seen the way that he healed people who were sick. Many people believed that Jesus was the Savior God had promised, the one who had come to rescue them. As Jesus and his disciples approached the city, Jesus sent two disciples ahead to find a donkey. The two disciples brought back the donkey, and then they placed their coats on the donkey's backs. The disciples did that so that Jesus would be comfortable as he rode into town. It was also a way for them to honor Jesus and show how much they loved him. Here's the really cool part. The disciples didn't realize it at the time, but Jesus was doing exactly what the prophet Zechariah, who's from the Old Testament, said he would hundreds of years before it happened. As the people saw Jesus, they spread their coats on the road and this was another way to honor Jesus. Other people cut branches from the trees and waved them and spread them on the road. Some people went ahead and some followed behind. And they shouted things like, Hosanna to the Son of God! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! You see, the people cheered for Jesus and they celebrated him. They were showing him that they knew how special he was. Well, most of the people celebrated. There were some religious leaders who didn't believe that Jesus was the savior that God had sent. To them, it seemed like the whole world was following Jesus and they didn't like it. These leaders told Jesus to tell his followers to stop, but we know that's not how the story ends. The religious leaders had studied and waited their whole lives for a savior and still they didn't recognize Jesus when he came but the rest of the people did see how special Jesus was. They continued to cheer and follow Jesus in the city. They believed he really was the savior God had promised, the one that they had been waiting for. And you know, we can celebrate like they did, not just on Palm Sunday and not just on Easter, but every day. 
we can celebrate all that God has done in the past and all that he's doing in our lives right now and all that he will do in the future. So let's remember our bottom line today. You can celebrate even when you're waiting. Even if you're tired of waiting and you're impatient, you can still celebrate. You can still see good ways that God is working in your life. Let's pray and ask God to help us celebrate even when we're waiting. Father God, thank you so much for this awesome story of Palm Sunday, how we know that the Israelites waited so many years for you and how you came to deliver them and to rescue them, Jesus. God, help us in the waiting. I know we're waiting and it's hard and we can be impatient at times, but God, we can still celebrate you and all the good things that you've done in our lives. Help us to stop and wait and help us to celebrate in the waiting. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Hi, we're the Smoggin family. We've been watching up the street and I want to be patient this month. And right now we're waiting and trying to be patient for Easter. We're so excited. We thought it would be fun to start planning some ways that we could celebrate Easter next weekend. We know it can be hard to wait. We're going to find some fun ways to celebrate while we're waiting. We want to make sure that we do resurrection rolls and resurrection eggs and talk about the Easter story. Um, we want to make sure that we decorate our house and make it festive and fun for Easter. And we want to make sure we hard boil our eggs to dye our Easter eggs together to celebrate and get excited and even fix Easter eggs with candy in them. So let's start preparing together for next weekend so that we're all ready when Easter comes. Even when we have to wait, there's still so much fit to thank God for and so much to celebrate. When we take time to celebrate, it helps us wait better and more patiently too. Have fun celebrating! For our activity today, you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil or some crayons to draw with because this month we've been learning all about patience and how hard it can be to wait for something. Now, take a minute to think about what you've been waiting for right now. Hmm. Maybe it's a special day, spring break, or someone coming to visit you soon. Now, once you think of something, draw a picture of it. Like this, I've been looking forward to summer. Now think about how you can celebrate while you're waiting for this to happen. Maybe you could hang up this month's verse as a reminder to be patient and wait. Maybe you could create a countdown calendar on the back of your picture. Or you could call that special person each week until your visit. Waiting isn't so bad when you're having a good time. No matter where you find yourself waiting this week, remind yourself that you can celebrate even when you're waiting. I had so much fun with you in Upstreet today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel and to head to crosspointweb.org family for more family activities. See you next time, Upstreet.